I received a follow-up question to my video about using the inbuilt table of contents feature, which you can click the link here if you'd like to take a look at it. That uh, message was from Steve. He wrote, very useful video, Paul. Is there a way to make the table of contents disappear once you've clicked on a link within it? So what Steve's referring to is that when you use the inbuilt table of contents feature, um, and you open up the table of contents and click one of the links within that table of contents, the table of contents panel remains open. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about here using my Learning About Canada project. So we'll just run uh, a preview of this project here. So here we go, we're on the title page of the Learning About Canada project. If I hit the table of contents button within my play bar, or I use the expand uh, icon for the table of contents, you'll see my table of contents here, and I can use it in this particular instance for navigation. So if I click on the basics of Canada, it will bring me to that page, but the default action doesn't take into account that most people would probably want that table of contents to now collapse. They have to do it manually. Um, there is a way that you can set that up within, uh, within Captivate so that it happens automatically for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this functionality to the on enter action of all my slides. It's really easy to do. So I'm going to select all of my content slides, first of all, because you can do a whole bunch of slides at once as long as they're of the same type. So I'm going to select all the content slides careful not to choose any knowledge check or question slides and then go to my properties panel and underneath the actions tab I can I'm going to select an on enter action um, in this case to hide the table of contents uh, in this case the default if I'm not mistaken is to continue playing the project but we're going to actually uncheck that now, just a note about your on enter actions. It's very possible that you have advanced actions already on your on enter action for your slide. The way around this is to simply include the command or the action hide table of contents uh, from your advanced action or include it in the advanced action. Uh, so you won't be able to select those slides at the same time as these, but you'll have to make those changes uh, separately. So now I'm going to do the same thing to all of my knowledge check questions as well as my final quiz questions. Let's just select them all here. And you can actually include your quiz results uh, slide as well because uh, it technically qualifies as part of your quiz. So my on interaction for most of these is defaulted to continue. Again, we'll just change that to hide table of contents and make sure that the continue playing the project is unchecked. Uh, the reason being is obviously you want it to pause on these slides uh, and, and allow the user time to interact with them. Uh, if you have a different behavior in mind, you can keep it checked uh, if you wish. But in this particular instance, uh, the behavior I'm looking for uh, will, will occur if I uncheck them all. So now that we're good to go, let's test this out. I'll just do a preview of this project. And we'll test it out, do a couple different scenarios here. So here we are with an updated version of the Learning About Canada uh, eLearning project. So we'll just open our table of contents. And now I'll click on the basics of Canada. And as you can see, it automatically collapses my table of contents. And it doesn't matter whether it's the next slide or later in the project. Uh, I'll be able to collapse the table of contents just by navigating to one of those other pages. I thought I'd take some time in this video uh, just towards the end here to bring your attention to a couple of things that I think are important. Uh, the first thing is the upcoming second annual Adobe eLearning Conference. It's going to be held on Wednesday, April 19th, 2017 at uh, the Renaissance Washington, D.C. Downtown Hotel located on 9th Street. Uh, it's going to be from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, there's a note here that times are subject to change. The great part about this e-learning conference, unlike other conferences that you might attend, this is a completely complimentary event. 
Uh, the only thing you have to do is make sure that you're registered and I'll put a link down into the comments uh, of this video so that you can go and register. Uh, I'm not confirmed yet whether I'll be speaking at this event, uh, but if I am going to be presenting a session at this event, I'd love it if my YouTube viewers were there in full force. Uh, that would be fantastic. So make sure that you register if you think you'll be able to go to this event, because uh, I do know that being that it is a complimentary event, which incidentally includes breakfast and lunch, um, you know, I imagine it's going to fill up rather quickly. The other thing I wanted to mention, many viewers have asked over the last couple of years if I could share the project files uh, related to many of my videos with them. And in fact, I, I've already been doing that and I just wanted to bring everyone's attention to it. On my, uh, my website, paulwilsonlearning.com, if you go to the purchase section and you'll be able to see a list of all the available Captivate project files that I've made available. And if you click on any one of them, you'll be brought to a, a sub page where you can see a small description of the actual project file and the video, the YouTube video that's associated with them. I do charge a small fee just to sort of help, help offset the cost of my website. Uh, but as you can see, it's very reasonable, uh, you know, and certainly uh, worthwhile if you don't want to take the time to build them as per the YouTube instructions. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.